are now on the road. I am still in Phuket uh, on my way to Pangna. And I have just gone through immigration. It was apparently pretty easy. Like, uh, I just had to show my passport. Uh, they didn't check my, uh, my driver's license. They didn't uh, stop and harass me. I, I haven't seen them stop and harass any. All right, so the first place I go today is going to be Salicine. It should be somewhere around here. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go first. I don't wanna take any risks. There's the uh, Thatchadzai police station. Hopefully I won't have to go there. All right guys, I'm in Salicine. So, this is on the very northern side of the Phuket. I gotta say, this is quite an estuary. They've got a big bridge that's crossing over. I think that bridge leads into Pangna. Over there is where some people go, like to go fishing, probably catch fish, crabs, lots of other good sea animals. Over here, we've got a lot of little huts and those. I think this part of Phuket is a little more relaxed, a little bit slower paced than like a Phuket town or Patong. Alright guys, I'm at Summit Nong Si right now. Uh, over here is where you buy tickets. And I'm just about to hike the trail. This is quite a popular stop if you want to go to Hong Kong. Alright, so this car is going to take us up, to the, up the road. Alright guys, well the road was awfully bumpy on the way up, but look at the scenery we get to see from up here. 
look at that. Look at that archipelago. Look at all those buildings. Because here's a little place if you want to relax, I guess. Looks like over there it's raining. I'm glad that it's cooling down. Earlier today it was just way too hot. But now the weather's getting a lot better. Damn, that's a gorgeous view. If you don't stop by Semet Nong Si, you're missing a lot. Well, it started to rain a little bit. Luckily, I've taken shelter under this bungalow. It's probably gonna let up soon. I don't think it's raining real hard anywhere. If you don't mind me, so I've now stopped at Bong Pod. I'm gonna find a good place around here to get some grub. I think there should be lots of places to eat around here. I think probably relatively affordable too. Let's see. Whoa! Check this out. There's a bridge we gotta walk across.
Uh, I'd like to see whatever this is. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll try some of this. making something right now. Oh. oh, look at that. We can add some sugar cane to it. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of that to it. Maybe a little more. Look at that. I, I can hardly wait to try this. So I'm at this seafood restaurant now. You get to order five things for 500 baht. Given that it's seafood, it's not that bad of a deal, I don't think. Um, here with a full-on feast, I've got uh, several different dishes. Uh, what I'm first going to try is fried fish in some tamarind sauce. Let's see if it's as good as pot now as it is in Phuket. Wow, I like the fish, it's uh, sort of flaky around the edges, the meat's nice and thick, uh, the sauce is a little bit sweet. <laughs> Goes very well. I'll give you a couple of greens to go with it. Let's see. You might want to be careful about bones in the fish. No, I say that every time, but yeah, you really want to be. Mm. Nice. All right, guys. Next up, we've got um, we've got some squid with pineapple. It's in some kind of uh, fermented sauce. I think it's like a fish sauce. Try a little bit of the squid. The sauce is pretty thick. Mm. Even if you don't like squid, you're probably going to love this dish. Mm. Got a couple of red chilies in here. Let me try one.
right, next up, I believe we've got oyster mushrooms. Oh man, look at the size of these oysters. They're quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna taste a little bit of the sauce first. Oh man. Try some. Oh yeah. I'm gonna cut this up. is a little spicy so be careful but it all goes very well together all right guys so now we've got some shrimp some whole shrimp and tamarind sauce i gotta try one of these cold oh man look at that shell look at that See, often I don't like to eat shrimp with the shell, but given how it's cooked, I mean, the shell, and it, when it's in the sauce, works perfectly. The shell actually holds in part of the sauce, which makes it all the better. So we've now got some tum yum kum, which they brought to us. I can hardly wait to see how good this is, but the broth is going to be quite sour. Oh yeah, yeah, very tasty tum yum kum. It is sour. It's uh, it's not too spicy actually. Um, it's like the perfect thing if you've got a sore throat. Tum yum kum is great. Looks like this is tom yum seafood. I think this must be a nice bit of flesh, fish, some flaky fish. Let's see what this is like. Mm. Mm. Well, there are reasons why you want to be careful eating the fish. Bones. It's a good thing I caught that before I swallowed one. Oh, man. This is quite a feast. Like, look at all this food. I think I ate too much this time, but... Well, I was hungry. And I'll give you a pretty good deal at this restaurant, so... Uh, we're going to see if I can walk all the way back to the car. And then continue on the rest of the way to Krabby. <laughs> Alright, let's go.